Hello jewelers, welcome to another video. This week I'm going to talk to you about how I went about selling my first 10 items of jewelry and how you can go about doing the same. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Megan Collins. I have been making and selling jewelry for the last 10 years and have grown my business to 10K months and am here to share all kinds of advice on the business side of running a jewelry business. So welcome. And if you like the content you see, then feel free to subscribe and like. It really helps the algorithm show other people the kind of content that is valuable to them as well. This week I'm doing something a little bit special. I'm going to be offering a one hour free session with me to answer all of your questions about your jewelry business. And if you hear a rooster crowing in the background, my apologies, I can't get them to keep quiet. No point trying. So please excuse the rooster interjecting. Maybe he wants to win a spot too. <laughs> Anyway, let's dive in. First thing I would do is to set up your social media platform. You can choose which one works best for you. There's so many these days. Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, wherever it is, Twitter, Snapchat, there's so many. But I personally started out with Instagram just because it's a really visual platform and a really great place to be able to showcase your work. And you can do video content, you can create pictures, you can do so much with it. So that is a really great way for people then to connect with you if they're not your close friend and they don't have your number then you can start to grow that network from there i really wouldn't go for more than one to start off with otherwise you're very likely to get burnt out because a lot of these platforms take a lot of time and energy from you so you don't want to be trying to keep on top of all of them and the algorithm and getting to grips with all of them so choose one maximum two maybe instagram and tiktok or and then try them out and see which one you feel suits better to your kind of brand so as you're developing that you'll see where your target audience hangs out more are they more Instagram or they more uh, Facebook even or whichever other platform you feel is better suited to you and your the kind of people you want to be selling your jewelry to don't worry too much yet about identifying your target audience on day one within the first couple of months you can develop that and start to get a clearer idea of who they are and the kind of places that they hang out so that you can then better connect with them that way. Make sure you stick around to the end where I tell you why I still have my very first piece of jewelry and why you should never sell yours. When you're starting out as a jewelry designer, you want to really make sure that you're always wearing your jewelry whenever you can because this way people are going to get to see it and they'll be like, wow, that's a beautiful necklace. And then you can say, oh, I made it. And then you can start a conversation like that. Whereas if you leave them at home, then no one's ever even going to know and you'll need to pluck up the courage to start the conversation where if you've got a talking point and you can start talking about that it's so much easier to do it I know in the beginning when you're starting you might be a bit shy to show your work and think it's not perfect it's not the best yet I'm still working on my skills but no matter where you are when you're starting whether it's still a work in progress that's totally fine just start wearing your pieces with confidence and start having those conversations with conversations with friends because that way then they might be like oh my goodness that's so cool that's amazing and maybe they want to support you so also wearing your pieces will also give you the opportunity to talk about the passion you have for it how exciting it is learning this new skill and your friends might want to support you with that and that's a really great way for them to do so they may be interested themselves in buying it or maybe you can ask them if they're not if they know of anybody else who shares a similar sort of style as you that they think might be interested which leads me on to another point which I'll discuss a little bit later and another really important thing is before you start to go out there is to work out your prices so that when people do actually ask then you have a price at hand yes obviously having a friend's discount in the beginning is great too if you're nervous about working at your prices and you don't know how to do that I have a whole video and a whole uh, spreadsheet that you can just import your cost price and your time and stuff and it's really easy and I explain that all to you. So I'll drop a link to the video down below in the description so you can check that out if you find that helpful. But why it's really important to know your prices is because they might be interested in buying it but then you might go, oh, um, well, because they ask the question, how much? And you, I'm and you are and you're not really sure what to say and then you say, I'll think about it, let me get back to you or you just splurt a number and it's not correct and then say they buy it at a really cheap price because you're not feeling super confident in the moment and then that person tells a friend oh I bought it for 20 pounds 20 euros whatever and it's really really cheap and then afterwards you go home and you're like oh my god that was ridiculously cheap I literally gave that away 
the materials cost more than that and then they've already told a friend and then and you need to tell them it's a higher price and it can get a bit awkward so have your prices worked out so that you can confidently say it's usually 85 but my friend's discount is sick gives it to you for 65 so that way you already sound way more professional just right from the get-go and you miss out on some potential customers which might end up being filtered out through the oh I don't know it's the awkward money area so make sure that you have those prices super nice and clear and say them with confidence and then keep quiet you don't need to explain too much in detail oh but uh, ooh, uh, you know undervaluing it or undermining yourself just say the price with confidence keep quiet and see what they say and you can say you know just kind of go from there see what they say maybe it's too expensive for them now or maybe they're like oh actually i could think about that and maybe next month i'll grab a piece or whatever it is but you have set the the tone of the conversation and you've come into it with confidence which is really really important in terms of valuing yourself as a business lady or man obviously we might be often inclined to just give away everything for free in the beginning and Try and resist that temptation because in the end you want to be building the business and with the money that they give you it can help to put back into the business to buy some more materials to keep on making and often people want to actually support you so by having a price on it then they're able to support you and say yes I back you I'm with you I'm I fully support this idea of you which also helps boost your own confidence so it's really important to put a price on it with a friend's discount but have that nice and clear so that it, you can grow from there and then from the friends they will talk with love and passion about it to their friends and you can grow from there you need 1,000 true fans which then they will tell other people they will tell other people and starts to grow and build from there so starting off small and building up from there and another great thing to have on hand when you're in these conversations in your purse or your wallet is to have some business cards you really in the beginning you don't need to overthink these and you can always change them you can print really small numbers even 50 120 even business cards and just to have them at hand so on there all you need in the beginning is your social media handle your contact whether that's an email or phone number whatever it is that you want to share with people so if they show interest themselves or they know somebody else who might be interested give them at least two business cards so you can say keep one for yourself and give the other one to another friend if they if you think they might be interested and that way they can then easily share that I know nowadays so many people just connect directly on Instagram and that's great but in terms of somebody then sharing that information with somebody else maybe they forget your handle or something like that and that's got all your other contact details on all in one place then they can really easily just share that business card with their friend and that way you can slowly build as well so that's really helpful and these days there's so many really easy ways you can go about doing this online you don't have to you know have massive graphic design skills personally I design mine on Canva super easy in fact I have another video on that which I'll link down below as well on how to go about designing your business card and you can use it for so many other different things and it's really really user-friendly and intuitive so if you if you need help with that I'll drop that link down below and another super simple thing is to show your gratitude so if someone's taken the time to listen to you talking about your passion for jewelry whether they buy or they don't it's show your appreciation for them taking the time and having that discussion and that interaction that you have with them goes a long way to them wanting to then spread the word and talk to their friends about it and it's really really beautiful and really special way to get an insight into working with you and how your brand's gonna feel as you're slowly developing it so it's really important to come across confident kind as and genuine just who you are and what's great is it's free and it helps you build it so much and this is an optional point if you want to offer custom pieces then that is a really great way for people to place orders with you and say oh could you make me a ring like this I see your style your necklace is kind of like bohemian chic could you make me a pair of earrings that are kind of within that style so in this way as you slowly learning your skills you might want to take on different challenges to develop those skills or you might not be ready to do that yet and that could be something that comes later but that way people then have something super special from you not only because you made it but you made something that they're interested in as well so that's something to think about and a nice way to build that word of mouth as well 
but if custom pieces isn't the direction you want to go in then I wouldn't recommend doing that but if you're open to that then that's a really great way to start building your customer base as well and now why I still have my very first pieces of jewelry is because it's so nice to be able to look back on that time it was a real huge big turning point for me and it's nice to have something to remember it by and it's great to look at the skill set I had then and look at what I create now and it's just really filled with memory and such an exciting great time so sometimes when I'm you know feeling slightly less inspired I can look at those pieces and it just fills me with a whole memory of the excitement and passion I have for creating jewelry so it's really helps me helps boost my why which is really important as well to help you keep going through those challenging times and I think it's just so nice to be able to look back at where you were and look at where you are now and see all the progress that you've made if you're interested in entering the giveaway for the one hour free session with me and you're struggling to think what to write in the comments let me know if you'd be interested in me doing another video on how to sell your first 100 pieces of jewelry that's it for me for this week and I look forward to joining you again next Sunday so see you then take care bye